Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to The Mixer. And today's video is something very, very cool and interesting that I'm really excited to talk about because when I found out about this, I, I thought, you know what, yeah, this is definitely gonna be made into a YouTube video. There is no doubt about it, you know? This is a really cool topic to talk about, you know? And it's something that can actually make you rich immediately, you know? If you find uh, what I'm gonna be talking about in this video today, if you claim it and bring it back and sell whatever the hell you want, you are going to become instantly rich okay and it is the San Jose okay it was actually a 64 gun three masted galleon ship of the Spanish Navy you know and this thing was really crazy because it launched in 19 uh, 1999 uh, damn it it launched uh, into the oceans in 1998 and was sunk in 1708 you know during this little uh, war thingy the the I don't know man, but it was sunk during something okay, and here's the thing the, there's something very peculiar about this ship You know because within its contents there is a quantity of gold silver and emeralds and other precious jewels that are Valued at about eh, more or less uh, 20 billion dollars <laughs> 20 billion dollars all of the treasures within this ship are valued today you know and like here's the thing if you happen to find this you know it technically doesn't have an owner right now if you go diving somewhere off the colombian coast you know and you manage to, it's really really deep down but if you can find it you know and claim it you will become rich i'm not even joking there is a chance though <laughs> that the colombian army is going to be there to shoot you in the ass you know there's a very good chance you're going to get shot just by even coming close to it you know nobody knows exactly where the shipwreck is you know but it has a lot of treasure you know there is a lot of freaking treasure and the thing is that a few more uh, it, uh, it's actually uh, here's the thing a few more tidbits of info here uh, it it weighs about 1700 uh, 1700 my god the year was sunk 1200 tons you know and uh, the armament has uh, it's got a few uh, you know what this sucks this is nothing uh, to do but anyway I, I thought it was gonna give me some better info but nah this Chi Chi kind of sucks but anyway it was officially found in 2015 okay by this thing called uh, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution okay and then in 2017 two years later there uh, a salvage operation managed by the Colombian government would proceed, you know. But there is a bit of a small issue here with uh, the, the the salvage process, you know, because I mean, hey, it is in Colombian waters. It was found by the Colombian government, you know. But uh, crazy story, it doesn't actually belong to Colombia. It depends on what you believe, you know. It depends on what uh, what side of the story you fall on here. Before I continue, uh, obviously I can't. Ha I can't. There aren't going to be any photos of the thing because it sunk a long time ago. But maybe if I can find some paintings or something, I'm going to show you guys here what this thing looked like. All right. So you guys ready for this? Here's the thing. Now, technically, it is in Colombian waters, so Colombia, the government in Colombia, is claiming the ship as their own. They want the ship for themselves. They want the, the booty, you know, the, the bounty, all of the money, the treasures. However, however, because it's a Spanish ship, Spain wants it. They think they have a right to it, you know, they, they think that they have 100% of the state claim to it because they uh, are the ones that, you know, fabricated the ship, it belongs to them, you know, it was part of the Spanish Navy, so technically the ship belongs to Spain, okay, so right off the bat we have a little bit of a complicated situation here, you know, and, uh, but here's the thing, even though it is a Spanish ship that belongs to Spain and is currently in Colombian territory, there's just one little problem. All of those jewels that I talked about, you know, the gold, silver, emeralds, all of those things that, that are worth so much money, they were actually stolen from a Bolivian tribe called the Caracara, if that's how you pronounce their name, you know, and all of this was taken from their land and it was being shipped off somewhere else. So. They are claiming that all of that property belongs to them. And you know what? To me, they are absolutely right. You know, it, it makes total sense because all of the stuff that's in that ship that's worth so much money was taken from them. So even if it was, you know, cargo on a Spanish ship and it's sunk in Colombian waters, what is actually in the cargo belongs to this tribe. You know, so that's what's going on right now. But there is a fourth figure actually right now in play that's actually, I think it's really hilarious actually. You see, England is also staking a claim at the prize. They also think that uh, the treasure belongs to them for the simple reason that it was an English ship that sunk the San Jose. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so so basically, it's like a video game now, right? We're playing like a like a World of Warcraft, where you 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 kill something, so what drops is yours. You're getting the drop. This is RuneScape now. It's a it's a party hat. It's gonna drop, and whatever you pick up is yours. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, <laughs> guys. I'm actually not even joking, by the way. You can go look this up. England legitimately thinks that they have any kind of, 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 of right at all to the treasure because their ship is the one that sunk it, you know? That makes a lot of sense, yeah. I mean, yeah, so I, I, I killed this person here so I automatically can loot their wallet, you know? That, that's how they, they think, apparently. <laughs> but okay, so let's go, let's, let's review again, right? So it is a, a Spanish ship sunken in Colombian waters that was sunk by an English ship with cargo that was stolen from a Bolivian tribe, okay? So Colombia wants it because it's in their waters Spain wants it because it was their ship you know Bolivia wants it because it's, it was stolen from their tribe and England <laughs> <laughs> wants it because they sunk the ship okay now uh this is actually i'm making this to be out of like a joke but it is actually real there is a legal battle going on right now in court over possession of the treasures in the ship you know but there is a small little silver lining here it currently sits unclaimed so right now, despite all of these details that I said, and despite agreeing that it does belong to the Bolivian tribe, you know, I mean, it's there, man. Like right now, until this whole legal dispute is settled, it's just there for the taking. So if somebody could manage to go there and scavenge it, you know, I mean, hey, you're not gonna get in trouble because technically you're not really stealing. I mean, you are stealing, but you're not really stealing from anybody, right? I mean, there's no victim involved. I mean, it doesn't belong to anyone yet, so I mean, and unless you want to pull a Robin Hood and steal it to give back to Bolivia or something, you know. But, I mean, seriously, the, the, the one player here that does not make sense at all in the equation is England, dude. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I killed it. I dropped it, so I get the drop, you know. That makes a lot of sense. That's how the world works, right? Yeah, yeah, I sunk the ship, so I, I get to claim everything that's... <laughs> oh, my God. Man. Desperation is a strong thing, isn't it? They really want to cut a that cake there. But I'm sorry. You guys aren't getting it. <laughs> Oh my god, but let's just say for example you yourself managed to go there with the, with the group of friends to dive and collect man of Medan style, right? You dive down there and take a bunch of stuff Hey, I mean you can make a lot of money off of it and nobody's ever like nobody can even sue you if they find out it too Because right now it doesn't belong to anybody. I mean if it happens like I, I don't know there, There's an ongoing battle in court if it's ever settled and it does go uh, if possession does go to one of these other countries Then maybe you might get in trouble, but right now at the time of recording this video I mean, it's free for the taking, buddy. As far as I'm concerned, it's like every man for himself down there. It's a freaking free for all. Just go down there, you know, take whatever you want. And uh, of course, I am against this, you know. If you watch my video talking about the Titanic, I am against you scavenging anything oceanic, you know, because I think it should be preserved as like a memorial for those who died. But then again, we're talking about $20 million, dude. I mean, it, you can't deny that it is just a tad bit tempting. Now, the reason that there's so much money at stake here is because, I mean, we're talking about, like, back in the day, they, they were carrying something called, uh, uh, I think it was Fort Blooms, you know, something that's uh, basically, uh, let me read it here for you guys. It has 11 million Fort Blooms, which is 11 million gold coins, or 11 million coins each of 27 grams of 92% gold, totaling 8.8 .8 million troy ounces, you know, uh, AGW, whatever the hell that means, or $11.5 billion, okay, and also many silver coins on board. So, this is like the holy grail of shipwrecks, you know. You know, this thing is like, I mean, dude, you find this thing, you are literally rich instantly, you know, the second you swim out of there. But a few more tidbits of info here. Uh, it was actually found by a Remus 6000 autonomous underwater vehicle in Colombia, you know, and uh, the state of Colombia has claimed the gallon as part of its submerged patrimony, so it is constitutionally obliged to protect and preserve the ship and all of its sunken contents, and the government has classified the location of it as a state secret, you know, so like I said, nobody knows where it is, you know, I mean, there is an approximate location, you know, you can actually, uh, I mean, you can kind of figure out where it is, you know, it's somewhere around the waters of Colombia, but it is very, very deeply submerged, you know, so it's really hard to find it, even if you know what you're looking for, you know, and let's remember, guys, looking for a sunken ship is not easy the ocean floor is huge with a lot of different depths you know just remember that they found the titanic on accident back in the 80s okay it was found by accident nobody was looking for it they just kind of found it you know so i mean um, if you actually try to look for something it might even be harder you know because uh, they say that the best things that you find are the ones that you're not even looking for you know but anyway 
Uh, so yeah, regarding the actual, uh, I don't know what the current situation is right now, but there is a value of about 20 billion though. I mean, it's it's like around 14, 17, 20 billion, but between 14 or 20 billion dollars is what it's worth right now, you know? It's yours for the taking if you wanna try and get it, you know? But if you happen to find some, if you happen to, to snag something, give me a little bit of the share because I mean, hey, I'm recording a video that inspired you to do it in the first place, you know? So, but yeah, in all, in all seriousness though, it really is a good idea to just leave it where it is, you know? to kind of like leave it like even though Colombia in my opinion doesn't really own it you know they are still they are on the right track at trying to preserve it you know so it's like look it's an hour water so just leave it here okay there's a lot of money at stake here but just leave it here let's just preserve it okay so I think that's actually a pretty admirable move you know and I think it's really cool to just leave it the way it is so you know you can actually honor the memories of those who died you know so yeah that's how it should be with everything every shipwreck every plane accident everything in life you know I think should all always be preserved to this degree but anyway I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this you know I think it's a really funny story it's very interesting mostly because I mean England in the mix man England's like I sunk it so it's mine yeah that's how it works I can't get over that man I really can't get over that yeah this is just like they, imagine if somebody just like goes yes yeah whatever it's yours and England goes like wait a second that worked oh bloody hell that worked well okay it's ours now <laughs> all right then I'm gonna end it here guys I'm gonna end it here because I don't think there's any much as I can say let me know in the comments below what you think about this story and if you want to put some research into it later to find out for yourself you know and let me know if you ever dive down into try and look for it record a video for your YouTube channel I'll definitely go and like it speaking of liking go ahead and like this video if you happen to like it and also consider subscribing to my channel because I release videos every single day and while you're at it go ahead and hit the notification button to know exactly what time I upload because hey I do that well, I upload videos every single day, so sometimes multiple videos. So you never know what you're gonna get with the chats here, right? And that's it for now, guys. Whew, checking the little camera here with my mirror. All right, this is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro screen.